you had to sum up your footballing philosophy in one sentence, what would it be? I want the ball. Very minutes. I fight. I, I, when I don't have the ball, I go high pressing because I want the ball, not because I like to defend there. Because when I there, I am more exposed. I am, you know, a little bit behind. But I go there because I want the ball. You've said you are obsessive about build-up play. In order to get results, would you sacrifice that at all? Impossible. It's impossible. We want to sacrifice for what reason? Because you lose the game. If you believe in that, you have to keep going. So when, when it's going to happen, we're going to use the goalkeeper, going to a wrong pass, and we're going to receive a goal. And the people say, why you don't hit ball? No, we have to insist on that. The, the reason why, why you miss that pass. So you wouldn't, what we call, win ugly. Play maybe not attractive if it means you're going to get a win. No, 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 I want to win. So the people say, no, is it when you play a build up or try to, no, I want to win. I want to play serious, I want to be effective. I don't do that to, to be, I want to play build up. No, no. I make a build up to convince the players for that is you have more consequence positive than negative. If I believed and you did that and, uh, and it's not productive for the team, I would not do that. But I was a football player and manager. And always when I did that, I would score a lot of goals and concede few. And that's why I believe in that. So it's attractive, but with purpose. Uh, of course. But I want to win, because not City is going to, to fire me. Give me an idea of how you assess a player as to whether or not he's the right sort of player for you and if he can do what you want to do. Every player has his own qualities. And this quality can be better. It can improve on that. And with the time, improve. And I'm pretty sure all the players that right now we have with training session, with passion, with uh, understand the game and why we make this kind of things and not the other one, but always, always there is a why, they can improve. So all of them. So I don't have doubt about that. But now in that moment we have to compete, we have to play, we have the Champions League, we have the Premier League. And I have to decide for the players who can do that better what I saw in the training sessions. It's a, a well-known expression in English football circles. It could be, you know, an excellent player or an excellent coach. They say yes, but can he do it on a cold, windy, rainy night at Stoke in November? It seems to be the benchmark for a typical British battle, if you like. Yeah, that's why I'm here. So you explain me how I'm going to feel. I don't know because I never experienced before. So I came here in Champions League with Arsenal or uh, United. It was sometimes rain, sometimes a little windy. Okay, it's a British stadium. Okay, maybe in one month, two months, I'm going to tell the way I'm going to play in this kind of stadium is not possible. I'm going to tell you. That's why I'm here. So to to leave that that feeling in, in Germany, in Spain, there are many many places where the conditions are uncomfortable. They are not perfect conditions. The north of the Germany, the weather is, is awful. So so we'll see. We'll see.